Coming up on Cardinals Insider. The word doesn't stop, and, and, and I'm still doing it. I'm still working, I'm still learning. Hear from fan favorite Jose Martinez. Plus, every year it's like more and more fans come out to these games. I think just the rivalry over the years has been so great. Take a trip with Cardinals Insider to the friendly confines as we go on the road to Chicago. And later, for me, I was honored that they asked me and um, it's something I'm very proud of. Broadcaster Dan McLaughlin talks about a scorecard from a special date in Cardinal history. Welcome to Cardinals Insider. I'm your host, Ozzie Smith. Jose Martinez is never lacking for hits or energy. He's been consistent at the plate, whether starting or coming off the bench. For that, he's this week's player profile. All he does is hit and hit and hit some more. It feels like all Jose Martinez has done since his Major League debut is produce. And in 2019, it's more of the same. An average hovering around 340 through early May. Although he's made it look easy, it's been anything but. And he says he's become a better hitter since breaking in. The word doesn't stop, and, and, and I'm still doing it. I'm still working, I'm still learning, and I need to be better in everything too. So. Last year is last year, and this is a new year, and you have to be better. The bat has been awesome since the very beginning, and Martinez has been working hard to develop his defense throughout his big league career. Enter coach Willie McGee, who's taken a keen interest in both the glove and the big leaguer as a whole. Willie's the best, man. Every time you go out there, he's just going to tell you the stuff that you need. He's going to go straight to you saying, if you do this, you're going to be better. And the best part is, like, you go out there and do what you, you do the best. You just play baseball. Play baseball, you're going to be fine. Have fun like you do, and everything's going to be, everything's going to do well for you. I mean, you're going to make errors and stuff, but that's fine. You're going to learn from it, and you're going to keep, keep going. It took more than a decade grinding through the minors before Martinez got his big league call. So he knows what it feels like to watch from afar. He carries it with him, in the game and before it always looking out for people who feel far away. From the first moment that I stepped on the big league field, that was, the, that was a favorite. And from now, I'm doing this interview with you, and it's still a favorite because I'm living every part of it because it's a journey. For me to get here, it wasn't easy. So that means I'm Joe every day. I know that every time I put a uniform or, or shorts or whatever that actually indicates I'm part of the Cardinals, it's a blessing. He got his opportunity and he's made the most of it again and again puts up the glove and makes the catch and again and he's not slowing down if they trust in you you have to go out there and do better it's not like you just put impression on you you just have to know that you're going to go out there and do your best to win you know i think it's a, this organization is all about win and i want to win too because i'm, I'm not i don't have a, any rings in the, not even the minor leagues or nothing and i will love to get a ring with this organization for cardinals insider I'm Brett McMillan. The Cardinals-Cubs rivalry is a celebration of baseball in the Midwest. Each meeting draws visiting fans from the opposing city. And on the Cards' most recent visit to the Windy City, we caught up with some Cardinal fans who made the trip. And there's a drive. Deep right and a mammoth blast here at Wrigley. Most Cardinals fans take in their live Cardinal action here at Busch Stadium. But some fans travel to watch their favorite team on the road. We caught up with a few in Chicago at Wrigley Field. Fans make the trip to Wrigley for a number of reasons. For one, it's an easy ride by car or train. It's a new experience, you know, it's not Bush Stadium, it's Wrigley, it's a classic setting. Um, my buddy's getting married in a couple weeks, so we decided to be a good, you know, a good trip just to make a five hour drive and, you know, just make a weekend out of it. It's beautiful out here. Came up yesterday, Friday afternoon, decided to take a, some time off from work and ride up on the train with all the other Cardinals fans. So it was just a lot of fun. Also known as Route 66 rivalry, the Cardinals and the Cubs bring a large fan base to each series. It's definitely a sea of both red and blue. It's huge. I'd say wildly one of the biggest in sports, if not at least in baseball for sure. 
But I think just the atmosphere of the game, it's a lot different when you have such a rivalry playing compared to just, you know, playing any other team in the league. Just the rivalry over the years has been so great. I and mean, there's actually a ton of Cardinals fans. I think um, there's pretty good amount for being in, um, you know, a different territory, but there's still a lot of support from Cardinals because we travel so well. The friendly rivalry between teams is fun for both fans and players alike. No, it's awesome to see him in the stands, and uh, he's, you can hear him battling in the stands, which which is cool too. Um, but uh, you know, it's always it always turns out to be, be a good series, and uh, I think everybody gets gets excited for it. Uh, the same when you come here and you see the amount of red that's around. You know, people love this game. You know, they love the rivalry that's going on between us, and uh, it just brings more more attention to this game and more fun. Whether you're at Bush Stadium or Wrigley Field, seeing the Cards face the Cubs is one exciting game you can't help but make the trip for. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Emily Stevens. Let's go Cubs! Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. To see win number 10,000 and to be behind the mic for it was, was pretty special for me. Dan McLaughlin shares the significance behind the scorecard now on display at the Cardinal Museum. Also coming up... The bacon wrap is my personal favorite. If I'm going to have a hot dog. How many different hot dogs can you find at Bush Stadium? Stay with us. Last season, the Cardinals earned their 10,000th win since entering the National League. The Cardinals Museum has a display case dedicated to the event, and Dan McLaughlin's scorecard is part of the display. Soft liner, this should do it. Double play! Regular season win number 10,000 for the St. Louis Cardinals in franchise history. Well, it was pretty cool. I mean, the, the folks from the, the Hall of Fame and Museum came over and asked if they could have my scorecard, which I didn't realize they were going to do. And then obviously that night wound up being win number 10,000 in franchise history. So uh, for me, I was honored that they asked me and um, it's something I'm very proud of. The thing I did differently with that card was that I put the time of game, I put the winner, the loser, the save, and then I had a little inscription of win number 10,000, and then the Cardinals Hall of Fame and Museum asked me to sign it, so that's definitely something different than what appears on my normal cards. The way I score a game is a lot different than maybe somebody else that would be an official scorer, let's say, or even some of my partners because the way I do it as a play-by-play -play guy on TV, there's just so much stuff that's happening in between pitches or in between outs that I want to be able to reference what happened in a previous at bat or an inning. So if you're looking at that scorecard, you may see a count, you may see an S for a swing, L for looking. I do it in a way that helps me present the game for me in the easiest and the best and the most efficient fashion. So it's a different looking scorecard than the one that probably you have at your son or your daughter's baseball and softball games. The way the game unfolds, that's how I call it. I call it like a fan maybe would. I get excited. Um, obviously, I'm pulling for the Cardinals to, to do well. It's a Cardinal audience. And growing up here in St. Louis, I've always been a Cardinal fan. So to see win number 10,000 and to be behind the mic for it was, was pretty special for me. Straight ahead. Sausages is a whole nother ball game. Which one is your favorite? Plus, our goal is to have artifacts and memories and history of the St. Louis Cardinals jump out of the cases and come to life. How can you experience Cardinal history right on your mobile phone? Have you listened to the Cardinals Insider Podcast yet? Each week, the show welcomes players, executives, and alumni. Plus, hear audio from the Cardinals Radio Archives. Take Cardinal Baseball with you on the Cardinals Insider Podcast. Listen or subscribe wherever you get your podcast or at cardinals.com slash podcast. Hot dogs are as much a part of baseball as double plays and home runs. At Bush Stadium, there's no shortage of hot dogs, brats, and sausages. And there's even some unique takes on these classic dishes. Brats, hot dogs, and sausages, oh my! Looking for something different instead of your tried and true? Break the routine and see the many options Bush Stadium has to offer. Eight to one hot dogs, that's our kids' dogs, those are the smallest ones. Those are the ones you get at your grocery store. We have a five to one hot dog, 
That is our jumbo dog. And then we have the deluxe dog, which is a three to one hot dog. That's a big boy. The numbers for the hot dogs, that tells you the size of your hot dog. Now the first number, the big number tells you how many hot dogs is in one pound. That's even before we get to our bacon wrap hot dogs, our corn dogs, our Italian sausages, our regular and jumbo and deluxe bratwurst throughout the ballpark. There's also a kosher dog, a pretzel dog, and a pastrami dog. That's a lot of options. Bush Stadium can go through between five and 6,000 links on any given game out of concessions. But if you want the normal ballpark frank, then there are plenty of options. Everyone likes to have their hot dog grilled, flat top grilled. We have throughout the ballpark seven grill carts that do Nathan's premium dogs. The Nathan's carts off the grill, you get to pick which hot dog you want, that's always been a fan favorite. Maybe you're on Team Brat and Sausages. We've got you covered there too. Sausages is a whole nother ball game. Of course, we got your Italian sausage and you have your bratwurst. But we also have some specialty sausages here. We got a, a mango habanero sausage. We got a whiskey peppercorn sausage. And the most favorite is the cheddar brat. And of course, Chef Norman has his favorite. The bacon wrap is my personal favorite. If I'm going to have a hot dog. If I'm going to have a sausage, I want to have the whiskey peppercorn sausage or the habanero mango from up on the, on the terrace grill. To find out where all of these and many more delicious food items are located, download and check out the Ballpark app. Reporting for the St. Louis Cardinals, I'm Ben Holtmeyer. The Cardinals Museum is now more interactive than ever. This past winter, they teamed up with MLB Ballpark app to bring the club's history to life through augmented reality. happy to announce that we now have augmented reality in our museum. So this is a new experience that we're offering everybody that comes in here. And our goal is to have artifacts and memories and history of the St. Louis Cardinals jump out of the cases and come to life. So it becomes a, a live video uh, on your phone. It's Swing it along one. There it is, baby. The Cardinals take the lead as Albert Pujols comes through. In the Follow the St. Louis Cardinals and Bush Stadium on the Ballpark app. And then there's an icon for Cardinals Museum AR, augmented reality. Through that, it opens a viewfinder and you find one of the 11 spots throughout the museum and the Hall of Fame that has a eye icon in the bottom right of a case. And inside that case, you know, there's an augmented reality item. You use that viewfinder and hover over the item and your phone becomes a video screen and the video brings that artifact or that historic moment in Cardinals history to life. So that's 62 home runs, and we have the base where he would have crossed home plate here on display. We have a tribute to one of our late and favorite Hall of Famers, Red Shandies. That's in our Hall of Fame exhibit outside of the museum. So anybody who walks up can get that nice tribute to Red. Also inside we have video from the old Sportsman's Park. So you go to the Sportsman's Park area of the museum, you look for that red eye icon, and find that item, put the viewfinder on it, and it'll be video of games being played in Sportsman's Park. There's 11 items throughout the museum, and it's, it's kind of like a, a hunt. You can find all 11 items and get to view them all. So it's a really cool experience that we're bringing here at the Cardinal Museum. It's time for this week's trivia question. During the 1930s, a group of Cardinal players formed the Mudcat Band, spreading music and laughs across the National League. Who led this famous group? Was it Pepper Martin, Joe Medwick, Leo DeRocher, or Dizzy Dean? The answer when we return. We're back with the answer to this week's trivia question. We ask which Cardinal led the famous Mudcat Band? The answer is Pepper Martin. Martin's career on the field landed him in the Cardinals Hall of Fame, but he was almost as legendary off the diamond. Here's more on Martin's Mudcat Band from Brian Finch at the Cardinals Museum. There have been some remarkable stories in Cardinals history, but one of the most unique stories I've had the chance to research has been about the marvelous musical Mississippi Mudcats. Pepper Martin received a guitar from his wife for Christmas one year, and he brought this guitar to spring training. So around 1937, it was this guitar that spurred the creation of a band, the Cardinals and Mudcats Band. Pepper wasn't the most musically gifted or inclined 
but as it turned out, there were a number of other Cardinals players that were. Originally, it was just to, to kill some time with one another. It became more of an act where folks were fascinated by them because they were Major League Baseball players playing musical instruments together. The idea of their act had grown so much that they had an opportunity for a postseason radio tour. And this, this continued on through 37, 38, and even into the very beginning of the 39 season. Both the 37 and 38 postseason opportunities ended briefly as the players realized, hey, we've been on kind of tour, so to speak. We've, we've been with the team for six months out of the year, and now they're asking us to go on tour. When are we going to get a break and get to see our families? The band did have their own uniforms. It said mud cats across their chest instead of cardinals, but it still had two birds on the bat, so they, they looked like the cardinals uniforms of the day. But the players also wore cowboy hats and cowboy boots, and they'd play their instruments wearing these, these mud cat uniforms. Frankie Frisch was quoted as saying, I may be the only manager that travels with an orchestra. Coming up next. There's no test, there's no homework. How's this for a field trip? Learn more about the CAP program when we return. Swing and a long fly ball into left field. This is going to add two more. It is I smell the coffee brewing. Wow. That will get out in a hurry. Yes, sir. it out to deep right center. That's at the wall. Goodbye. And the 3-1 is lifted out to deep center. It's at the wall. It is God. Just snuck over the wall. The Cardinals Academic Program, or CAP, gives kids the chance to stretch their minds and go behind the scenes at Bush Stadium. It's a one-of-a-kind experience which leaves an impact on the classes who visit. So welcome to Cardinal School. We call it CAP. It stands for Cardinal Academic Program. There's no test, there's no homework, so it's very casual, but they actually do learn things without realizing they're learning. Go crazy folks, go crazy. We actually love the CAP program. We've been doing this for five plus years. We love the integration of baseball with learning and um, it's just a great time for hands-on learning. Okay, so this class that they're doing right now is our science class. So they will actually learn about impact and how to to form thesis and how to, to make some suggestions. We have these really great boards that they actually have a lot of hands on where they can, they can test out their theories. Being able to see where some of the people work, there's just so much put into what a baseball team is like. It is gone. Walk off Homer from Colton Wall. There are several versions of the, the field trip. They can do cap only. They can also do what we call a double play, which would include the CAP program and a tour of the stadium. And it's, it's just a really great field trip and fun time for everyone involved. I saw their excitement when they would hear a new fact. So I think that um, that kind of learning for them will be a part of their memories. Bush Stadium holds theme nights all summer long, but Cancer Awareness Night makes a difference in the fight against the disease. A portion of each ticket is donated back to the Siteman Cancer Center in St. Louis, advancing the effort to strike out cancer. Cancer Awareness Night is one of our favorite theme nights every year. We've teamed up with Siteman Cancer Center for the last few years to put on this event. It's an amazing event. We give away a hat that represents 11 different types of cancer. The color of the hat corresponds to that type of cancer. So it's really meaningful for families to be able to get that purple hat that celebrates pancreatic cancer or the pink hat that celebrates breast cancer. It means a lot to the different fans. So I'm here with my two daughters. We've been coming for the last four years. Coming to these, we get to help support the research. We get to celebrate the lives of the people we have lost and the ones that are still here and then cheer for the Cardinals. So it's a win-win. So a portion of each ticket goes back to Siteman Cancer Center. So it goes back to fighting cancer 
here in St. Louis, which really makes a huge difference. Siteman Cancer Center, based at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine, wants to recognize all cancer survivors and their families here tonight as there is Lee Bean, cancer survivor, ready to throw out an honorary pitch from the top of the mound. All right. Siteman Cancer Center is here with a booth and pedal the cause, and then we do these special buttons that say, I'm celebrating, and you can fill in the name of a friend or family member that you're celebrating who's fought cancer. And hopefully someday, somewhere down the road, they can eradicate all cancers, and no one has to be sad, no one has to battle, and no one has to worry about losing a loved one to it. This episode is coming to a close, but we're always online at cardinals.com insider. The site includes local listings for the show, archived episodes, links to the Cardinals Insider podcast, and more. Plus, our YouTube page houses all of our content, including individual stories and past episodes. Just search St. Louis Cardinals and select one of the Cardinals Insider playlists. That's it for this week. We close the show with the sights and sounds of a Cardinals road trip to Wrigley Field. We'll see you next week.